What is a dichotomy? What is anomalous? What is axiomatic? To find out what these three words and four others mean and how to use them in sentences, do keep watching. But first, if you haven't already, do subscribe to The English Nut on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and X. Thanks. First on our stage is proselytizing, the zealous act of converting someone to a cause, philosophy or religion. The word has got the fervor of a preacher at the pulpit. Plucked from the Greek proselytos, meaning convert, stranger or literally one who has come over. It's all about converting to a new belief, sometimes with a little too much enthusiasm. He was proselytizing the virtues of vegetarianism with the intensity of a recent convert. At every family gathering, she found herself proselytizing the merits of a digital detox. He stood at the street corner proselytizing to passers-by about saving the bees, the trees and the seas. Next, we encounter marauder, a plundering pillager of yore. It's a word that comes with the echo of boots on cobblestones in the dead of night. It sneaks in from the French marauder, which comes from maro, meaning rascal. Originally, marauders went around looking for things to loot and people to kill. Thankfully, most of us maraud only for midnight snacks nowadays. The historical novel depicted a band of marauders who terrorized the countryside. In the realm of cookies, he was a notorious marauder, leaving no jar unturned. My cat, the furry marauder, has claimed dominion over the neighborhood gardens. Anomalous, an adjective as peculiar as its meaning, describes something that deviates from what is standard, normal or expected, the odd duck out. With a heritage from the Greek anomalos, meaning uneven or irregular, it's the word you use for the strange and unaccountable. Among the rows of tailored hedges, the wild rosebush was an anomalous yet welcome sight. The scientist pondered the anomalous results which didn't fit any known theory. Her style was delightfully anomalous, a blend of vintage chic and futuristic glam. In the realm of dichotomy, things are cut as sharply as a well-tailored suit. Dichotomy, said with the precision of a philosopher's quill, is a division into two mutually exclusive or contradictory groups. It comes from the Greek dichotomia, meaning dividing in two. The dichotomy between his public persona and private life was as stark as day and night. In the kitchen, there's a clear dichotomy, the bakers versus the broilers, each with their own culinary creeds. The word dichotomy often pops up in academic circles where splitting hairs is considered a sport. A shoot is a slide for things or people to descend rapidly, like luggage being unloaded or passers-by being evacuated from a plane. Plummeting from the French shoot meaning fall, this word has parachuted into English landing softly in our vocabulary. The mail zoomed through the chute, from the slot on the door to the collection box below. With a cry of relief, he took to the emergency chute, sliding from peril to safety. At the farm, apples tumbled down the chute, a cascade of red and green, soon to be converted into juice. Let's look at a word with spunk, chutzpah. Pronounce it chutzpah or chutzpah with that guttural H like you're clearing your throat with gusto. Chutzpah struts in from Yiddish and it's the audacity to do what others wouldn't dare. Sometimes brilliant, sometimes brazen. I have a whole video about Yiddish words, do look it up. She argued her case with such chutzpah that even the opposition couldn't help but applaud. 
Starting a sushi restaurant in the heart of Texas, that's chutzpah. He had the chutzpah to wear neon to the noir-themed party, a glowing rebel in the dark crowd. Chutzpah is celebrated in tales of underdogs and mavericks, those who dare to dance differently. Axiomatic, a word that rings as true as the principles it describes, a term we use for those self-evident truths that need no proof, like the sun rising in the east. Rooted deeply in the Greek axioma, a word that meant something thought to be fitting, it's the bedrock of theories, the cornerstones of philosophy and sometimes the underpinnings of a particularly convincing argument at the pub. To her, the benefits of a good book were axiomatic, as clear as the daylight streaming through her window. In the world of fashion, it's axiomatic that styles thought lost to the ages will someday sashay back onto the catwalk. It's axiomatic that a cup of tea can solve more problems than a council of elders. In logic and mathematics, an axiom is a statement accepted as true, forming the foundation upon which other truths are built. Think of it as the first domino in a cascade of reasoning. Until next time, keep your minds sharp and your words sharper. In the comments section, let me know what you think of the words we covered today. To my viewer Doipayon Ghatok 2250, thank you for suggesting these words. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.